Well, Freddie, 26 points today and confirmation of position in the squad. Not a bad week. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it was good. It was obviously good to get out there and get, get the win. Um, there are a few areas that we, we weren't happy with, but France is always a tough, tough place to come. So, yeah, I was happy to kick my goals and, and get the win. And kick conditions weren't ideal, quite heavy out there. Yeah, it was. It was quite, um, quite slippy. The, the ground was very heavy as well. So, um, you know, it's one of those things you can't really let it affect you. You just got to, you know, you're sort of not hitting hope, but keep your technique. And, and if your foot slips and you miss, you just have to park it up and let it go. And fortunately for me, I didn't today. 100% it says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it's nice. Like I said, there's aspects of my game that I wasn't too happy with. But, you know, to kick your goals over here and, and get the win is, is key. So, just happy, like I said, to get that W and, and get back across the Gloucester. And the boys up front dogged it out. Yeah, I think that's it. We had to dog it out. It was a battle out there. You know, credit to, uh, to Bordeaux. They, um, you know, they played some good rugby, some great offloading stuff. You know, we have to look at our defence, especially in that first half. But yeah, the, the boys up front all, all dogged in and, and, and dug deep. And, yeah, it was good. It was a reshaped midfield. At times, the defence dog legged a bit. Yeah, you know, I, I haven't played with Tom this year. I haven't really played with Trinder this year. You know, and same with, with Dan Robson. So it's always going to be a bit, a bit patchy, but you know, trust it that. The only sunny day we've had for a while we play at night where it's dewy and that always makes it a little bit harder. So, um, you know, no excuses, but it's a, you know, we were all comfortable playing with each other and just unfortunately today, you know, we weren't able to, to play where we wanted. And a word about Dan Robson's side, you recently had an outstanding match. Yeah, Dan Robson's a great player, you know, come in, real young guy, had those string of games at the beginning of the year where he just grew and, you know, he showed today how quality he is. I mean, that charge down at the end won it for us and, yeah. Fair play to him, we're in a good place when it comes to lines with, with Jimmy, him and, and Dave Lewis, so yeah, we're, we're in a good place. We got the vital win, showed all that resilience again this evening, but the game's not over yet in terms of the ambulance. You've got to secure that home second in the final, and that means the Phoenix next week, it's not a massive race for Yeah, exactly, we, you know, it can, all, it can all be undone by a loss next week, so we've got to get out there, we want that home quarter final, so we're going to go out, look at ourselves during the week, work hard, get better, and, and hopefully get a, a big performance again at Mont de Marzan. Have you personally had the next few weeks shape up with your involvement with England? I'm not quite sure. I mean, I'm aware on the 21st of, of January, and that's a week in Leeds, and, and I'll just take it as it comes, get out there, train hard, and, and then we're into the Six Nations. So, like I said, I'll just train hard, keep my head down, and hopefully I'll get a bit of game time. If not, I'm more than happy to come back and, and do a job for Gloucester. Yeah, there must be a much relieved atmosphere, much better atmosphere after last week's result in the, in the changing room right now. Yeah, you know, last week really really hit us hard. It was a disappointing performance, and obviously a disappointing result. And, it was just important that we got that win today. It didn't matter how, we just had to get that win. So you know, everything's a little bit rosier after a win and we can just push on now and, and be confident going into next week.